All right, so today we're going to be going over how to build this working in-game clock. As you can see here, it is modeled after the clock that you would find in your hand. Like It keeps real time during the game. The way that I have it set up to keep real time is with this um, hopper redstone uh, timer, uh, which I will go over in a separate video how to make. Um, as you can see here, these are the inner workings of the clock. Um, and we're going to be going over how to make that. So let's get started. This clock can be featured and seen frequently in the Doodle Bros Gaming Minecraft Let's Plays. Uh, and you'll find a link to those at the end of the video. Okay, first thing that we have to go over is the, uh, what we're going to call the scrolling blocks. Um, this block is on a loop uh, that gets pushed around, and um, this is it here. I've set it up on a tile checkerboard, so you can see this is five blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and then ten, and then fifteen, twenty, 25 and it's 29 blocks long in total i'll zoom out here so when you're building it you can see we'll get that um, position out of the way um, so you could pause the video right there if you'd like so you that you can make it for yourself uh, when you are building it and the way that this is set up is that it is 11 across the front 11 across the back, 4 on one side, and we'll go over why that is, and then 3 on the other. Here are the inner workings of the clock. And again, um, if you're looking at the clock head on, this is the front of the clock here. Okay, so say this is the front of the clock. This is the position that they are in. Again, I'll pause right here so that you can save it. Um, or that you could pause it in case you have to go back to it for a reference. But this is the, the front right. And I'll just slowly go around so you can see. And we're going to go over how to build these all in detail. But there's one. Another. That's the back right. This is the front left. and the back left. You could pause the video. Now, as you see here, um, we have it set up that we have these redstone repeaters. Um, each one of them is set for a total of three ticks. Um, and that's gonna be important, um, that you have them all set for a total of three ticks. So let's get started building them. The first one that we're going to make is this one right here. Um, and then I have it drawn out here. This is how it's going to be set up. I just put the marks on the ground uh, just for a reference. Um, but you're going to start out uh, going the direction. Um, we're going to put down the, the pistons to push the blocks in the direction of uh, um, the way that the blocks need to be pushed. So we're going to, I'm putting down these blocks first. The yellow blocks are ones that don't need to be anything specific. They could be any single block you put down, wood, anything like that. Uh, then we're going to set up seven high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. And I'm just going to take those out because they are not important to the overall construction. So that's how it's going to look. Again, where you see this, this is the front of the clock where you're actually going to see uh, the, the picture scrolling through. So we're going to work on this one first. First thing that we're going to do, as you see here, um, the way this works is that when a block comes in front of it, it pushes them all out like that. It pushes them all out. So we're going to put one down and then circle around like that. Boom. I'm going to put one up there. Like so, I'm going to put down a solid base, I'm going to put this down, and then one, two, uh, it has to be three total, so that's one, two, and three ticks. I'm going to put one here, and you have to use um, the glowstone for this, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Okay, so you're going to do a alternating pattern like that around the back of every single one like this you're going to put two blocks on the ones that are touching the pistons and then you're going to come with this come all the way around in like that and then the glowstone normal blocks would not allow this glowstone to be connected but glowstone does allow it to be connected uh, to the block underneath you see like that. Glowstone is, I believe, the only block that allows for that. So, if we did it correctly, when we put a block here, all of them should activate. And they do, all at once. Beautiful. Next, we're going to be going to the back right. So, this one right here. So, we're going to be going, this one's going to wrap almost all the way around. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, like so, two, there, and then we're going to do again that uh, one on each level pattern. Oop. Good. Every block that touches on every single one of these, you're going to do this. We're going to put one. So that's one click, two, three. One click, two, three. And connect it. Good. Let's test it out. Make sure that works. Beautiful. Next, the back left. So it'll be this one right here. We come over, make a big loop, and go right into it like that. Zigzag pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. This has one, two, three.
connecting all the redstone. Testing it out. Good. Excellent. Okay. And then the final one. The front left. So. This one right here. This one is going to dip down a little bit. So you're going to come up. You have one there. Dip down and then start. Making that zigzag pattern, putting those blocks back in, connecting this redstone. Testing it out. Beautiful. Okay. So let's test out if it works now. So to test out if it works, we are going to use two different color blocks. So we'll use a white and a gray. Now, as you saw here, like I mentioned before, um, we're, we're going to have one more block. And that block we're going to have as a red one. And once we put that in, it should keep going. But it did not. Why did it not? Okay, so we got that figured out. Problem was, I had this um, one extra this way. So I had 12 across the front instead of 11, and the max that I could push at one time is 11 blocks, or technically 12 blocks it would be. Um, so I had it pushing 13 at a time. That doesn't work, so essentially all I did was move these two pillars one block <coughs> this way and redid everything. Um, so, if you look here, now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spaces in between instead of the twelve spaces from before. And if you watch, it now works perfectly. We'll put this block here. And it just keeps going in a nice circle like that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, how do we have it set up so that um, it just goes with the timing? Well, you are not going to have this here like so that's going to be eliminated and that is going to be going via a pulse from um, from a hopper timer so that's how to do the scrolling and the internal components of of the clock um, and then what you what you would do you could just start right here with those blocks right there and then just build over as you need this way, this way, 
and then down so that the last and uh, you'll also when you're building you'll have one block right there also so you start with this row right here you start right there come across this way this way make sure that you have this block in but of course you had to eliminate this redstone here first and then your 29th row right here row number 29 should end up right there and then you just build the clock around it okay instead of having a long drawn out uh, section showing you how to make the clock face um, I just represented it here in this pixel pixel uh, section um, every pixel is a block and I used uh, yellow black and uh, wool and stone uh, for the clock face uh, you can see on there the green section is representative of where the scrolling uh, portion of the inner mechanism would be in relation to the clock uh, for the video of how you have this on a timer um, I'm going to have a link to that at the end, so make sure you click on that and check that out. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this was useful.